Hello and welcome back to Fallout. Last time, uh, me and Ian, Ian and I, whatever, uh, we killed all of these guys over here. They're all dead. Well, there's a couple girls as well. It doesn't really matter. Gender's not important when you're dead, I don't think. Is it still? I don't, I don't know. They're generic corpses. We'll just put it that way. So Ian and I killed them. Ian, of course, being the greatest Olympic sharpshooter to have ever lived. And apparently a heroin addict. Dang it, Ian. Cut that out. Can't do drugs here. Only mentats. Because they make you smarter. And now, of course, our job is to... Oh, what a little prick of a raider. Dude just tried to throw a spear at me. Uh, our current job is to ensure that everyone in this building dies and we save Aradesh's daughter. Yeah, it'd be really unfortunate if we went in there and accidentally killed Aradesh's daughter. I just considered that. We should probably be careful. Ian? Ian? Watch yourself. Make sure that you don't accidentally kill Aradesh's daughter. Oh, my lord. Oh, okay. I thought Ian had just killed that guy with, like, two point-blank shots, with quite, which, quite frankly, would be quite impressive. Just a legitimate death right there. Right at the hands of Ian, but no. That guy's still alive. Okay. This man appears to be significantly more impressive. He's, of course, wearing plates of what is probably, at this point, aluminum foil with spikes on it. And he's named Garl. Stupid name, quite frankly. Ooh. Ian. Ian coming in with the kill shot as the guy tries to flee out of the door. When you're a coward in the face of Ian, you have to understand that you will die. And this guy's trying to flank us because he's a prick. Mr. Tolia. Nobody cares about you, Tolia. You're a little prick of a prick. Oh, but for a prick, he does hurt quite a bit. Oh, look at Ian get at it. Dude, he just takes the gun. He just presses it up against the head of his enemies. And absolutely wrecks them. Okay. We are just emptying rounds into Mr. Uh, Garl, whose aluminum foil is apparently far more effective than any modern-day aluminum foil. I guess the aluminum foil has become irradiated, thereby... Um, it has mutated into a greater form of aluminum foil than one could ever expect to find in this unirradiated era. In case you're wondering, that is not a, uh, legitimate biology, but if you wrote it in a test for biology, eh, it's worth a try. You, you never know. What does radiation do to organic matter? It makes super aluminum. Go with that. You'll get 100%, I'd swear. Can't swear that, that's it's not true. <laughs> it's just, it's just so wrong. Come on, Ian, kill him. I, I need to flee from the battle as I am almost out of stim packs. By flee, I of course mean I'm just gonna run over here. I'm just gonna try to get as much distance between me and the opponent as possible. This will of course mean they miss more. And if they miss more, they run out of ammo. Eventually, they'll completely run out of ammo. And hopefully that would mean that um, we would uh, get out of the situation. Hopefully not die. It's always for the best. Is Ian still in there? Yeah, Ian's still in there. It's hard to see him. He's like chilling in the building, just shooting everyone. Okay, we need a single shot against this guy right here. Oh, we're out of ammo. Oh, that's not good. Can't be out of ammo. If we're out of ammo, what are we going to do? We're going to reload with a clip. And then, okay, he's... Oh, he's not dead. Oh, he's only fallen over. He's having a little sleep. We shot him right in the nerve center that causes you to sleep. It's a weird one, I have to admit. But it... Oh, no. Oh, we're dead. We're so dead. Thank you, Raiders. Not even the carrion eaters are interested in your radiated corpse. Okay. 
So, Ian, I am going to blame that entire thing on you. Of course, Ian has no clue what's going on because he was not alive to see that happen. It's pretty much a completely different and non-existent reality for him, but Ian, I'm still blaming you for all of that. Ian, let's try a different approach. Uh, let's not try that approach then. We, I was gonna try, you know, being friendly, walking up and having a nice chat with the raiders. See if they want to actually talk this out. I think we can determine one very solid thing. The raiders don't want to talk about anything. They just want to kill me. I don't enjoy people killing me. You know, Ian, for being an Olympic sharpshooter, you missed that shot. It's pretty bad, Ian. You need to work on that. Oh, Lord, I didn't miss that one, though. 31 hit points and was killed. Well, we're at least doing better than we were before. Ian, brace yourself. It's Garl. It's Garl. Oh, nice. He, uh, Ian hit him for 15 points, blowing through the radioactive uh, aluminum armor. Which is probably... Oh! Oh. Ian? Good job, Ian. We have done... <laughs> we have done amazing things. Okay, we're gonna come out of combat. Oh my lord. We gained 400 experience total for saving two slaves. I wonder if either of them were Aradesh's daughter. It's questionable. Ah, oh, okay, so Garl had a desert eagle, no doubt plated, of course, in radioactive aluminum, as that's the only thing that he actually cares about. And apparently he had booze. Ian, don't touch the booze. Don't do it, Ian. You can't touch the booze. It's bad. Mr. Ian, can we talk? Ian, okay, there we go. What can I do for you? Um... I would like to, um, I need you to barter with me. I'm going to give you, for zero caps, a suit of combat armor. And I expect, Ian, that you use it. I know that as an Olympic, um, as an Olympic sharpshooter, you prefer to wear your leather jacket, which allows for easier movement, but that can't be done can't do it. You need to wear the combat armor. There we go. You've got the combat armor on. Make sure you put that on. There we go. And never mind. Are you going to put it on? No, you're going to stick with your leather jacket. Ah, Ian. Ian, Ian, Ian. He may be an Olympic level athlete, but he's not particularly intelligent. Let's see what we got here. What we've got here is metal armor, polished metal plates crudely forming a suit of armor. That sounds brilliant. We're going to put it on immediately. Look at us. Oh. We are, we have now become, we have taken over the place of Garl. We are now Garl 2.0. Ian, you must understand the importance of this moment. Is this guy in here? Oh, okay, definitely in here. Ian, the guy's definitely in here. Just a fair note. I'm also planning on opening up on him with a burst round, so... Just prepare for that, Ian. Okay, Ian cannot get through the doorway. I'm blocking the doorway. There you go, Ian. You are now more than welcome to go through and kill people. Let's just let, let's just let Ian have his time in the sun. He's, of course, feeling a bit, um, unfortunately underused because he's had to live in the shadow of the burst action submachine gun. So now Ian's going to get his time in the sun as he apparently tries to punch Tolia in the face with a pistol. I don't know why he's that close. Ow. Ow. 
shooting people is not particularly nice, Mr. Raider. And to teach you a good lesson about that, I'm gonna shoot you in the face. See, here we go. This is not nice! See, did you like that, Raider? You didn't, did you? You hated it. Ian, where are you going? Where are you going? I'm gonna have to follow Ian. I don't know where he's going. He's spotted something out of the corner of his eye. And of course, because Ian is pretty much like a dog, he is compelled to figure out what it is that he saw. Ow. Shut up, lady. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. And not in any kind sort of manner. I'm going to shoot you in the face quite vigorously. Boom. Right there, six points of damage. See, you didn't like that, did you? That was pathetic. Disgusting. Oh, but she's running. She's booking it. Oh, Ian. Ian, you are a man of my own heart. Ian just shot that guy in the back. Uh, well, that girl in the back as she was running. Ian, I'm so proud of you. You've done so well. Ah. <sighs> It's always nice when your companion just shoots someone in the back as they're trying to run. That's the best. Man, we're gonna be absolutely, positively rich. Ian, we are going to make millions. Your heroin addiction isn't even going to be a problem anymore. Apparently we're at maximum capacity. Of course you would say, why don't you give some stuff to Ian? Mostly because Ian is a terrible kleptomaniac and he's going to try to keep it for himself, which is terrible. We can probably drop this and try to pick that up. We got it. Yeah, nobody needs a scorpion tail. Now that we've got all this loot, Ian. Ian, drop your collection of scorpion tails. See, what he does is he tries to refine heroin out of scorpion tails. And I always try to tell him, Ian, that's not where heroin comes from. That's, that's just not it. But Ian, of course, doesn't listen because he's in a he's in a withdrawal craze, and he's just like, I have to have it, I have to have it, and I just I just let him do it. I mean, it's for the best. Ian is absolutely crazy when he gets like that. Okay, let's see where these people are. We got a raider here, a raider here, and two raiders at the doorway. Ian, this will be simple. Simple as anybody's business. So Ian, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I need to get out of that. Let's go raid the other doorway first, Mr. Ian. That sounds like the best idea. Come on, Ian. Come on. We're gonna have a chat with these guys. Hello, Mr. Raider, how are you? You've got your spear, don't you? Well, guess what I feel about your spear? Oh! He's dead. He's dead. Not even a question. 43 hit points worth. He's done. This is the best gun ever. I would argue to say that it is the best gun in the game. I would then immediately say that it's definitely not and you shouldn't listen to a word I say. Because I have no clue what I'm talking about. Single burst fire. Burst fire is the only way to go! It's a meat grinder! We ground his meat! Literally all of his meat is just on the ground in a pile of hamburger at this point. Not admittedly the type of hamburger you'd want to pick up and eat because, come on guys, that's terrible. <laughs> You're going around and eating raiders. That's not even prime meat. I mean, that's like the worst meat. If you're gonna go around eating people, you have to eat like Ian. Ian is prime meat. He's an Olympic athlete, for Pete's sake. How can you get better flesh than Ian has? I mean, that's where you want to go. That's what you want to eat. I, I swear. You have to believe me. Okay, we've leveled up. Ian, of course, hasn't leveled up because he's at max level at this point. He is as good as he can ever be. That was the wrong button. I don't want my Pip-Boy. I want my character sheet. What do we have? We have nine... 15 skill points to put into, what are we gonna put it into? Ian, what do you think? Uh, I need to put some points into speech because of course we need to convince Ian that every time we need to 
convince him that he actually has to wake up because he's terribly depressed because he's a heroin addict and he doesn't have enough heroin to uh, survive because he's in the waste and the waste doesn't have as much heroin as he needs. Uh, there's much more weed, especially after Cletus um, learned about crop rotation. There's so much weed around here, but not a particularly large amount of heroin. So unfortunately, Mr. Ian does have some small problems with that. Let's see, what else should we do? We've done science, speech. We should do a bit of repair, I'm feeling. We're gonna be able to repair things, but of course we're gonna be much better at sciencing them. Nice. Okay, Ian. Let's go in for the final engagement. Come on, there's a raider right in here. Well, two raiders actually. But there's one at the end of this hallway who's about to get absolutely wrecked. Unless you want trouble, you better put that away. Oh, well, maybe I want trouble. Huh? You ever thought about that? Missy! Oh! Meat grinder! Meat ground! Oh, look at you. You want to get all up close and personal? Ian just wrecked you. If I could high-five Ian right now, which unfortunately I can't because, of course, that's, that's unacceptable, that would... He, uh, he is my underling, and I have to keep a professional relationship with my underlings. So unfortunately, I can't high-five Ian, but I would totally high-five him if this was real life right now. I'd be all about that. Well, Ian... Let's see, the last guard was right here. Take all of those caps. I said all of those caps. Every single one, take all the bullets. Very nice, can we take the gun? No, not enough space. Let's see, what is in this refrigerator, Ian? Ian, let's check it out. What? That is not what I expected to find in a refrigerator. Um, we got a lock picking kit. Love it. 93 caps. A shotgun. Why does he have a shotgun? Why is there a shotgun in the refrigerator? You don't need to preserve the shotgun in the refrigerator. Come on now, mates. Come on. Let's just get rid of these flares. I don't even care. I don't know why I would use them. I'm just getting rid of them, and I'm putting things in here. There's some double barrel shotgun. I don't even care. I'm not going to use a shotgun. Just leave it. Ian, I don't even know. Apparently, they were trying to keep the shotgun fresh. Oh, 40 shotgun shells? My lord. We have so much ammo and so few guns to use. What's this chest? An ice chest filled with nothing. It's probably for the best. They would have just had, like, guns in there or something. Which is ridiculous. Molotov cocktails. Don't even care. Thanks for saving me. Yeah. Slaves, you should probably run, by the way. Just saying. I mean, I'm not going to be here for much longer. I am also completely insane and might just consider shooting you at any moment. It would be pretty fun. <sighs> Do it. Don't do it. Who is this? Who are you? What do you want? Uh, my name is Vinrafel, and my father sent me. Father sent you? Are you here to get me out? Uh, you know, we'll try. If I can't get you out, I'll probably just shoot you and say that I tried. <laughs> and Aradesh won't be happy. Yeah, just sit tight. I'll get you out. Okay. Um... Inventory, let's see what we got. We do have that lock picking kit. That's probably what we're gonna use. Of course, we're terrible at picking locks because we're a science type. So let's try this. Here we go. Attempting to use on door. Unable to pick the lock. Do it again. Oh, we unlocked the door, nice. Ian, that is a course in how to pick locks. Oh. It's you again. Are you gonna get me out? 
Um. Well, yeah. What's your plan? Just wait for the door to open, then run for it. I'm going to fight the con leader in exchange for your freedom. I mean, everyone's dead, so you can just leave. That's it. That's your plan. Ugh. All right, well, but hurry. I heard them talking, and I didn't like their plans. Well, I mean. Everyone's kind of already dead. So, uh, yeah. Aerodesh's daughter. Let's. I mean, seriously. Let's get out of here. Come on. Come on, Tandy. Let's go. Okay, Tandy's booking it. That's good. I'm sure she is absolutely horrified at this point. Of the bloodbath that has occurred outside as, um... Ian and I pretty much killed everything in the building. Yeah, okay. So, with that trail of blood and massacre, some ground beef just sitting on the ground, which, of course, isn't actually beef. It's human flesh because we shot them to the point that they were nothing. Anyway, with that, we have saved Tandy, and we only need to go back to Shady Sands to bring her to her father, Eridesh. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, Tandy will return to her father. Her father will no doubt be eternally grateful or just be a prick and be like, Oh, you did such a good job. Well, now I'm just going to forget that you did that for us. Either way, um, she's coming back and people may or may not be shot in the process. But yeah, until then, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.